on to you Aquarius out there so you Aquarius actually have the Knight of Swords the Queen of Cups and you have the <laughs> you have the Ten of Cups so um, these three cards right here they're a little bit hard to pick up but these three cards right here are about how um, mm, very interesting so uh, you Aquarius very much so are learning how to be essentially a lot more suspicious because you Aquarius will basically put yourselves into uh, other people in the sense that you will essentially put as much en energy as you possibly can into another person and it just seems like it's in vain. So one of the things that you Aquarius essentially stop doing is you're learning from your mistakes and the Eight of Wands represents you're actually learning how to be a little bit more aware of the people that you call getting to know. Um, seems like you're a little bit guarded here. A little bit. The reason why it is that I'm saying that is because of the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Uh, even though you Aquarius are actually moving to a better position in your life, you're still very much so guarded about whether or not, you know, it's safe for you to actually trust other people. And the answer to that is, uh, yes, you can. <laughs> you know, um, really what it is that you Aquarius really want to do is trust people until they don't give you a reason to trust them. If they don't really give you a reason to not trust them, you can pretty much trust them, right? Um, but you really have to just, like I said, you just have to pay attention to what's really going on with you because what's happening is uh, you don't wanna end up thinking or getting paranoid that you can't trust anybody and that you can't uh, feel like, um, you can never trust anybody and no matter what happens, because that's not true, right? And I'm not gonna sit up here and make that narrative that it, that that's true, because it's not. It's just that the situation for you Aquarius is that you just have to be able to understand that when you're meeting people and you're getting to know them, get to know them, see what's going on with them, but really just pay attention, honestly, to see if everything matches up, if everything makes sense, you know what I mean? If everything makes dollars and cents, if things don't make sense, then don't spend your time hanging out with them. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of, um, like guardedness coming from y'all to a certain extent. And then the confirmation cards is the temperance and the emperor. This is about how you Aquarius, again, y'all have so much untapped potential that y'all haven't really gotten into still in a sense that you Aquarius don't understand certain elements about yourself. And what you Aquarius don't understand is you're you're prepared for whatever. I'm, this is what I'm telling you Aquarius for a couple of weeks now. You are prepared to no matter what gets thrown at you, Aquarius, you, Aquarius, are most definitely prepared to make sure that regardless of whatever happens, whether if it's a whether if it's a person uh, trying to waste your time or they're lying to you, you, Aquarius, been here before, you know what time it is, you know how to heal yourself, and there's nothing to fear whatsoever. It's just that the the the, the fear is all up in here. It's all up in here and in here. You Aquarius have a little bit of a fear of getting hurt because, you know, like I said before, Aquarius is a zodiac sign, quiet as is kept, that very much so loves and feels and is, and, and is quite frankly afraid sometimes to really be in love with somebody because they will break your heart, you know? Like I said, I got Aquarius in my chart. My father's in Aquarius. So, <laughs> yeah.
You know, I still, you know, I still see the way that my father looks at my mom still to this day, even though my father's been remarried. You know what I mean? So, you know, so the point that I'm trying to make here with that is you just have to, under, you Aquarius just have to understand that don't think that you're not prepared and that if things don't work out the way that you didn't intend it to, that you're broken and that you're finished because that that's not true at all you aquarius are just now getting started and that's why it is that you had to get these two cards in particular because the temperance is about the patience that you've built up over the years and not just the patience but the wisdom to to go along with it what have you aquarius what have you aquarius learned from all this time right you've learned that people will hang out with you and then they'll act whatever but what is one of the things that you Aquarius have learned too? To be fearless. You Aquarius have learned not to be afraid of whether or not people are wasting your time or whatever the case may be. Because at the end of the day, you forget that they're wasting their own time. And that the reason why they felt like they had to put on and they had to lie to you in the first place was because of the fact that they knew that you weren't going for it. They knew that you Aquarius if you Aquarius came to them as dysfunctional as they actually were, they know that you wasn't going for it. So it's time for you, again, it's time for you Aquarius to really give yourself some real credit here that maybe you Aquarius have way more value than what you think you do sometimes. You know, and that not everything is as cut and dry as your intellect all the time would have you believe. You know, not no. See, Aquarius is about knowing. I said believe, meaning that's not even you. You that you know that belief stuff and believe that ain't even. Oh wow, that ain't even you. You know, just make it sure. But that ain't even you. So you have to know your self worth. You have to really understand that, regardless of whether a person is keeping it a hundred with you or not, it doesn't matter. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because if they feel like they have to lie to you, if they are deluding themselves into that, it's their loss. It's not yours. And and, and that's another thing too. quit, you know, quit worrying about you giving your heart to so many people and they break it. Those are dysfunctional. <laughs> those are, you know, those are dysfunctional ninnies those are <laughs> i can't say those words y'all they are dysfunctional ninnies those are those are those are idiots those are those are uh they're stupid <laughs> they're stupid okay you know they're stupid all right um yeah they're just stupid you know don't don't waste your time thinking that you're lesser than because people when you give your heart to certain people they break it you know like i said before what you aquarius need to do is you need to honestly speaking you you, you need to study the type of people that you like and that you also need to raise the bar if you aquarius you know it, you know if it's it's one thing if you Aquarius are really out here, you know, catching caught off guard because, you know, people are telling you that they they rock with you and that they good up to a certain point and then they start flipping the script. But, you know, if you Aquarius are uh, dealing with, with knuckleheaded ninnies, right? Just pay attention not to get caught up with them because once again, you know, sometimes, you know, you Aquarius can... can can have a problem with the hero complex like i've been talking about where y'all are so much better than the people that you hang around sometimes y'all don't even have a clue what i'm talking about like y'all will be up here and the person will be down here like y'all will be real estate moguls talking to people you know what i'm saying talking to you know what i'm saying talking to like bums that that sell nickel bags. Yeah. 
I'm getting into my street stuff. But you know what I'm saying? Try talking to talking to them about interest rates and and like like you know mortgage rates and and like and like real estates and stuff like this. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes you gotta also understand that, you know, if the person, if the person, if it was in that person, and they understood real estate to the degree that you do, not just biblically, but in practice, they would probably be the. They would probably have businesses themselves. They would probably have real estate. Uh, they would probably have real estate themselves too. So it's like a lot of the times the tongue that you're talking in. And a, and a tongue that people are listening to. And that's what brings y'all down. So, again, let go of anybody that would be a blight or would be a block to you. You know, you know what I mean? Don't worry about if these people actually have your best interest in mind. Just pay attention to see the quality of the person that they are. If they're not quality people, stay away from them the hermit and the uh the the uh the ten of wands excuse me the hermit and the ten of swords is about how because those people automatically i guarantee you, they have something to hide too they were always dysfunctional mess ups in the first place and they counted on you aquarius in the first place to bail them out of whatever trouble they got and that goes romantically as well by the way so um, overall, you Aquarius are in a very good disposition. The only thing that's holding you back at this current point in time is your mentality, where you Aquarius are. You still think that you have to be in the dirt with people that are just breaking your heart and stuff like this. They wild out. Guess what you do, Aquarius? They wild out. Those people wild out. Guess what you uh, Aquarius do? Move forward. What is my philosophy over here? What is the way that I live my life? I don't hold on to anything or to anyone too tightly. It's not that nothing is important to me. Of course, there's some things that are important to me. But if a person in their words or in their actions tell or both tell me and show me, right, that they don't want me to be around or they seem to have a problem with me or whatever, or, you know, they don't want to listen to me. They don't want me to be around i just leave them alone i just let them be so let's clarify the emperor nine of cups lovers ace of cups six of swords eight of wands You Aquarius have a lot more power and influence than you than you than you know, than you realize right now. The Nine of Cups, the Lovers, the Ace of Cups, you Aquarius inspire people to step their game up when you're hanging around them. But like I've been talking to you, Aquarius, about since 2021, not everybody is gonna be down with that though. But this is what I See, this is what I'm saying. Stop worrying about the people who are who can't keep up. I'm just telling you these readings for you to be able that because they come up. But as they come up, I'm telling you these readings so that you can understand to not worry about when people don't want to keep up with you. Right? Because when you Aquarius are around, I'm telling y'all the answer. Y'all inspire people to step their game up. And all those people who don't and can't step their game up, guess what they're doing? They can't keep up. So what they have to do, they have to cause mischief, cause ruckus. They have to, you know what I mean, get angry at you because you you speed is too fast, right? You you making quantum leaps. You know, one minute you're like, oh, okay, you down, you down, you ain't got any money. And then like the next week, it's like you on some real estate stuff. Literally, you on some real estate stuff. You finna buy your first piece of property. And the person is like, how in the, you know what I'm saying? The person who's confused is like, how in the freak does the Aquarius get to a point where 
they went from having <laughs> no money to now talk about they finna buy their first piece of property in a matter of seven days. So now the people who can keep up with you, they're like, oh yeah, I'm right there with you. The people who can't that you date, that are in your family, that are friends, they'll be the ones that'll be like, well, why are you doing that? And the asking the problem is not the, asking the reason why is not the problem, but trying to sabotage you is the problem. So don't worry about the stuff that you go through. This is what, this is what I'm trying to tell you, Aquarius. Stop allowing that stuff to get you down. This type of when I let me let me tell y'all something. When I speak to y'all negatively, it's through these readings. It's for you to understand. This is the mind frame of how these people think. This is the stupidity of how they think. So I'm bringing you into the mind of how they think. Now I'm not saying that this is how you think or you should think like this. I'm trying to get you Aquarius to understand this is the warped mentality that they have while they're doing the stupid stuff that they're doing. It's up to you Aquarius to understand not for you to get caught up in that by giving a level of understanding to it. So comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. If you'd like to contact me for a person reading, there's a link in the comment section below called a link tree link. Click on it. Um, it will redirect you to a website where there's all the ways to get a personal reading from me. Birth chart reading, the books that I have, they're on Amazon. Also, too, feel free to contact me at Kareem Spareworks at yahoo.com.